all loaded up. We're heading down to our very first van life conference. It's held in Illinois, Southern Illinois. There's Maddie. Maddie's going with us today. And um, yeah, so we're in the early stages of planning on doing a van build. And I need to learn how to do like the solar um, system. So I'm going to go down there. We're going to talk to some people and see if I can get some ideas. Um, hopefully get some interviews and just show you what van life's all about. Turn right onto Camp Cedar Point Lane. Jeannie, do you have your camera to get your videos? What made you decide to do this? Well, we were paying rent for five years and we added it all up and it was about a hundred thousand dollars and that's money we'll never get back. So Elizabeth yeah. finished her master's degree in Atlanta and that's where we built the bus and we decided to just invest our money in this and drive around. Wow. Travel. So we've been wow. traveling for 10 months. Awesome. We bought the bus for $2,500 on Craigslist in Florida. And with the solar and insurance and all the building, we're in the whole bus about ten thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. And is this a, a diesel? This is a diesel. It's uh, the seven point three liter uh -huh. turbo diesel V eight. It's the Navistar. It's like the old Fords. The mm -hmm. bus is a nineteen ninety six, and it's thirty four feet long. I love the painting. I love I love how you did the. Thanks, Elizabeth's pattern. cousin. Uh, she's a graphic, you know, she's an artist, scenic artist in Hollywood, uh -huh. and she showed us how to do the wood grain. Painting. That is so uh, neat. I love it. And and I guess this is your this is your channel. Yeah, Little House, Little on, House the on the Highway. That's we cool. Do Instagram, Facebook. That's a good name. YouTube. Yeah, Elizabeth's a writer too, so that's how we also make some money on the road. She writes for a magazine in Canada. Cool. <laughs> so do you guys have a bucket list of places that you want to go, or? Not so much of places. I like to go see people. I know the Grand Canyon is always going to be there, but I got to see some family that I hadn't seen in 12 years when we were traveling. I saw my cousins and my aunt. And oh, my so cool. So I'm, I'm actually leaving June 4th to do Rim to Rim to Rim oh, wow. of the Grand Canyon. So yeah, it's That'll super cool. Fun. That's super cool. Yeah. So do you have any outside storage? We don't have any outside storage. Awesome. Oh, you like Isn't it amazing? I'm going to walk inside. This is super cool. This is so big, it's so spacious. All kinds of room. All kinds of storage. Thank you. Thank you. No way. Okay. Oh, wow. We're down at the Van Life Conference in Southern Illinois, and this is Summer, and Summer's going to give us a tour of her van, and she's going to tell us what it is that she does while she tours the country, and in between swatting at gnats. <laughs> yeah, and picking yeah. objects. Right. <laughs> uh, this is my little Ford Transit. This is a Connect, so it's probably the smallest model you can get with a Ford Transit. So back here it's six by four feet. Um, so we did what we could with it. Uh, this is a twin size bed. It does fold into a bench, but I legitimately never have it as a bench because I use all of that as storage underneath the bed. As you can see, I have can storage. Baby wipes are a 100% necessity for being on the road. Um, and this is my cooking area and kind of my garage. And then I have this like net up here that you're gonna see. That is actually, um, I mean, I can store hats in it. 
But oh, it's okay. actually, yeah, it's to store those uh, things that cover the windows. Oh, cool. Yeah, and so those are actually great because they're one inch uh, just insulation that we cut to fit and then we spray foamed around the side and cut those out and then put little magnets on top so it just like slides right in. Oh cool. I messed Where did up you by get that spray at? foaming. It's got like a pattern on it. Where'd you get that at? Uh, I just got the, um, like on Amazon, I ordered a vinyl to put on it, but I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally, I sprayed it with glue and uh -huh. spray glue eats away at foam. So don't do that at okay. all. So this is where I have all the storage right here. This is like water, gym bag, dirty laundry. I have book storage behind there. And then this is my clothes right here. So this is just one bag of clothes. It's a very oh, cool. large bag. Um, got swimsuits and comfy clothes, jeans, and then a bunch of t-shirts. That's what I wear. These are really great packing cubes are great for separating your socks from your underwear and just being able to easily grab them. And then this just slides right in there. So, I mean, but there's a lot of useful stuff in here, more baby wipes, um, cooking stuff, just different things. And then I use like every ounce of storage. So we took off the panels and cool. yeah, so summer has all these Oh, yeah. National Park Magnets. So would you like to shout out to your podcast and tell us what it is that you do while you're yeah. on the road? That's yeah, super for sure. Cool. This is like the reason I'm doing it is because I want to fall back in love with America. That's why I did van life. Um, and I'm going to fall back or am falling back in love with America through national parks and then the people I meet in the national parks. So I do a podcast where I just interview people, just random strangers at the parks, and I ask them their story why they came to the park, what we're looking at, like how this makes them feel, any memories they have, and why people should come. And so you get all these kinds of stories from all different people all over the country or all over the world in these parks. And so, yeah, I just make a podcast called Nat Park Stories, and I just travel to all the national parks. I've actually been to 29 now. That is super cool. Um, but I think uh, 12 in the van so far. That is yeah. super cool. This is, this is some fantastic work. That is so cool. Well, we have a fruit bowl. <laughs> it's really full of rotting fruit. But... Fan Life Conference. We're finally on 55 after doing all the Southern Illinois back roads. And um, yeah, it was a great time. We met a lot of people, made some good connections. One of the ladies is going to come over Monday night. Um, going to spend the week um, helping her work on her van. Get a little bit of experience myself. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of ideas, did a bunch of walkthroughs, and uh, made a bunch of real, probably lifelong connections now. If you look in the back, you can see we are loaded down all of a sudden right there. We actually won one of the raffles. That is um, sheep insulation, which is um, it's a really good insulation. It's about $519 worth of insulation in the back seat there. So, and it cost us 20 bucks, I think. I mean, we bought $20 with a lottery ticket, these little 
tickets and yeah, so we were super excited about that. Kelly wants the pro master. Ah. <gasps> Hi, she won't come out. Well, she was out, and then I came over here, and she looked guilty and jumped back in. So I said it's okay. Hi. She's I'm glad oh, she we gonna make you a fancy home. Oh, we gonna make you a fancy home. Get your light on. She's not. She's not running. No. Yeah, Miss. I think that she can sense.